Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome to another episode of FTL. Now if you'd like to jump straight to the action and see what we're getting up to, you can click the button right about here to do just that. Otherwise, if you have chosen to stay and listen to what we're going to be playing today, let's get straight to that. So here we go with a new game, we're going to be playing with the Mantis Cruiser Type A today. So let's rename the Gila Monster into something a little bit more appropriate. This is going to be the VSS Violence, because we are going to be quite violent with it. Lissandra, you are going to be renamed to be Warrior. And your friend here, Magmaros, that's an interesting name I've never seen before, you are going to be renamed to be, how about Brawler? Yes, indeed. Warrior Brawler Notch. No Notch. You're not going to be Notch. You're going to be Fighter. And Matthew. You are going to change your name as well into Accountant. Because every ship full of angry fighters needs an Accountant on board to make sure things all add up. Now, this ship does have some interesting features. It has three Mantis to start off and a Teleporter. So you are ready to go to jump into the enemy ship and punch people to death with deadly, deadly spikes and pincers. We also have standard things like our med bay, we have some basic weaponry, we have basic shields, basic engines, but we do lack radar. So if we want to see what's going on in the enemy ship, we need to buy ourselves a radar upgrade fairly early on. As for weaponry, we start off with some very basic weaponry, basic laser and a small bomb, nothing particularly fancy. And it's important to note that you only have one layer of weapons, so if you want to get both of those active at the same time, it does cost 60 scrap, which is fairly expensive for that initial burst. However, we have the power of our mantises to rely on, so hopefully they'll be able to do most of the damage for us early in the game. It's also important to note that we start off with the Mantis Pheromones augmentation. It doesn't do a whole lot, it just makes your mantises and everybody really on board your ship move 25% faster while on board your ship, so it doesn't help you when you are invading. But it can make things easier if you need to get around quickly to do repairs, rush into the med bay, or what have you. Now, as far as achievements go for this ship, there are three legs for every ship. In order to unlock the Type B, you need to accomplish two of these, one of them being Take No Prisoners for killing 20 ships' crews by Sector 6 in the Mantis Cruiser. Very easy to do if you're playing the ship properly, because you should be boarding and killing the crews of most of the ships you come across. For Avasti Scurvy Dogs, killing five enemy crew in a fight without taking hull damage or losing a crew member while using the Mantis Cruiser, that's also fairly easy. If you have high-level shields and can penetrate to take out their weaponry fairly quickly, you should be able to do this without too much trouble. This one, on the other hand, is a bit silly. Battle Royale, for using the Mantis Cruiser to kill the last enemy on the enemy ship with the last crew member from our ship while on board their ship. I mean, you can do this pretty easily by sending your crew over, killing all, of, all but one of their crew, teleporting them back onto your ship, using your small bomb to kill your own crew, and then sending your one remaining Mantis back over to their ship to kill the last person there. But why? That's the question I have. Why? <laughs> it just seems like it's a strange achievement. It, the possibility of it happening in a legitimate way is so small. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that one. Anyway, that's enough of that. We're going to be playing on normal, and let's jump straight into the action here. So, here we go. Here we are. The data we carry is vital for the remaining Federation fleet. We need supplies for the journey, so we need to make sure we explore each sector before moving on to the next, and we'll need to get to those exits before those rebels can catch us. So, let's send Warrior and Brawler over to the teleporter. Accountant, you're going to take over our helm, and Fighter, you're going to head down to the engines. Hopefully we'll be able to get some replacement for Accountant soon, and he can move around to a more mobile position to do our repairs. As it stands, we need him there. We'll turn on our engines, turn on one of our weapons, and jump jump and jump and see if we can't find someone to fight. What do we have here? Ah, we receive a transmission saying, Sorry sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons, go hot. Okay, we're gonna get hits here. Let's teleport quickly into their weapons bay. See if we can knock out at least one of those weapons, the heavy laser or the mini beam, either of which are very dangerous for us with that attack drone we nearby, because they can get through our shields very easily. And they hit us in the weapons, that's okay, we don't need our weapons right now anyway. The beam luckily got blocked in that tiny window of opportunity. These humans should be the last remaining two crew on board the ship, and they should go down fairly quickly, although we may take additional hits before we manage to get them down. Here we go, luckily we managed to do it just in time. There are no more life signs remaining on the ships, we strip it of useful materials, gaining a fuel, two missiles, and 19 scrap. Alright, that could have gone worse. Could have gone much worse. Teleport back on board, get them into the med bay, turn off the teleporter, turn on the med bay, send accountant to fix the weapons. And the game just froze there for a second. That's weird. I haven't had that happen in quite some time. 
Actually, I don't think I've ever had that happen. <laughs> this game has ever, ever frozen for me. If I'm not recording, it runs at like 1,200 frames per second. Of course, it is mostly still images, so isn't that surprising, but you know how it is. Let's jump forwards and see if we can't find some more money to make. More people to kill. I should move my power backwards needed, though. We detect two pirate ships, one chasing the other, and one of them is a pirate. Well, let's get in there and aid those civilians. We power up weapons and engage the Mantis Pirates, or at least Mantis-looking pirates. We have power back into our teleporters, and they have nothing to stop us from jumping straight in there. They do have Artemis missiles and some kind of basic laser, so we want to hit them as hard as we can quickly. But it looks like this is their full crew, one NG, one Rockman. So once the NG goes down, the Rockman should go down fairly quickly, and as long as we don't get hit by that rocket, we did get hit, but not in an important room, everything should be just tickety boo so if we blast down the rock man in a second here, here we go. They should be able to only get one more salvo off. Miss, miss, miss. Yes, they missed. And down goes the rock man. There are no more signs of life detected on the pirate ship, so we gather two fuel, two missiles, and twenty scrap from the wreckage before contacting the civilians. The ship that we were assault that they were assaulting was a science vessel. They thank us for savoring that savoring, saving them, and offer us a fuel, two missiles, and fourteen scrap. Well, we solve problems with violence. That's why we have that name. So hopefully they will continue to be problems that are easily solved with violence. As it stands, that's a great start. We'll be able to power up our level two uh, shields in a second. Well, I should just do that now, actually. We'll buy level two shields. We don't quite have the power for them, but we take power out of the engines and out of the weapons, because we don't need those most of the time now. We should be able to get everything where we want it and have level two shields, so we're not quite as easy to kill, and this should be good. So let's keep moving forwards towards the exit and see if we can't find more goodies. What do we have here? Ah, scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby, and again, someone is under attack by space pirates, so we head in there to help those civilians once again. We power up weapons and engage. This time we're fighting rocks. They have a dual laser and a heavy laser, so a little bit more than our two shields can take, but it should be okay if we can do some damage here before they get in. Oh no, it looks like both of them are chasing us. It is Mantises and NG. That's not what I was expecting, but that's okay. We should be able to take them out pretty easily nonetheless. It looks like our Mantis is a stronger fighter than their Mantis, at least a little bit. Oh yes, doing quite well there, Brawler. We should take out that Mantis no problem, and then the NG should go... Whoa, 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 run. Wow, you survived with a single health. That's insane. That could have gone really badly there. You were on the top for so long and then suddenly dropped. No more life signs are detected on board the pirate ship, and we hasten to contact the civilians, getting two fuel, drone part, and twenty scrap. When we contact the civilians, we find that the crew we saved was badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts to be dropped off at a nearby station, but one offers to join us, so we welcome them aboard. The survivor boards us, and we find out that they are another NG. Not bad. You are going to take over the engines, the engine station, and fighter, you're going to move over to the weapons, I think, for now. You are very lucky, Brawler. You probably have no idea just how lucky you were. Teleport back on board our ship, buy a power bar with our additional energy, stick that in the engines, and get ourselves all healed up again. Health, get that health in you guys. That was close to death. Incredibly close to death. The NG are good here because they counteract the natural weakness of the Mantis, so with this nice pairing here, we can do lots of damage and do lots of repairs very quickly. Let us jump again. There's another store over there. We don't need a store at the moment. We've got plenty of fuel, plenty of missiles. That shouldn't be a problem. This is an interesting backdrop that I haven't seen recently. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails us. They prepared a weapon to aid our escape from the Rebels and give us 9 scrap as well as a burst laser mark 1. Not the best weapon, probably one of my least favorite weapons, because it's basically just a worse version of the Burst Laser Mark II, but, but, that's okay. It's a free weapon, can't say no to that. Let's keep jumping. We come across a Rebel Automated Scout ship pursuing a civilian. Weapons engaged. Well, we have to get in there and help them, although we're going to have a hard time fighting them, because this is our weakness right here. How will we power up weapons and engage the automated ship? They have big weapons, too. Wow. Beam drone, some kind of bomb, mini beam, and a basic laser. They won't be able to penetrate our shield, so that's fine, but the bomb could do some damage, so we're going to activate our small bomb. Take power to the medbay, please. Put power in the small bomb. We cannot board them because we don't have a highly upgraded enough, um, what do you call them, teleporter. But we are going to try and blast them, take out that bomb. It should be the easiest weapon to knock out because it is on the edge here. Yes, it does. Take out both of them, in fact. Now they're really not much of a threat. If we take out their shields with one more bomb, we should be able to focus on them with the basic laser and kill them very, very slowly. Take out the shields. No, we missed. One more shot there. Please take out the shields with a the small bomb. Then we can work them down manually. 
It would be nice if we had an additional power bar, could use our burst laser mark 1 or our basic laser and small bomb simultaneously, but we missed again. That does not appear to be the case. Also, we have to use the small bomb to take up the shields because the basic laser cannot penetrate a single shield by itself. Not ideal situation, but we want that reward from destroying them and from saving the civilians, so here's what we do. We do that, blast them in the helm now so we don't miss with our future basic lasers, and then we should be able to focus them down pretty easily. Once we can't miss, even a single laser will do a lot of damage. They will be bringing their bomb back online, but we should be able to basic laser it down pretty easily once the helm is knocked out because they won't be able to dodge anymore. Hit them again! There we go, they can no longer dodge, hit them in the weapons to make sure that they're not hurting us. The beams aren't that... <coughs> excuse me! Wow. That was not ideal. The beams can't do a whole lot to us because of the fact that we have level 2 shields, so we're going to hit them in the engines next, just in case they decide to try and run. They do have their helm damage, but that will be coming back online sooner or later. Shields are starting to come back as well, so we're going to hit them with another basic laser as well to make sure they don't bring that shield layer back online, because that would not be good. Hit them in the shields, thank you very much. Hit them in the weapons again to make sure the bomb does not come back, and it'll only be two more shots till they go down. Not the most thrilling or fastest fight we've been able to do, but certainly... I just shot the drone, didn't I? Certainly an easy one to eventually beat them down with. Let's hit them in the helm, actually, so we make sure that we don't miss again. Boop, and hit them in the weapons. I think it's funny that you can hit the drones, but it's also kind of irritating when you don't mean to. Fire the basic laser at the weapons to make sure that bomb stays offline, and the next shot will be the last, so let's hit them in the weapons once again, just for good measure. Hit them with the final laser to end the fight and save the civilians. What do we get? Well, destroying the ship gives us two fuel, a drone part, and ten scrap, and when we contact the civilians, we find that the pirate was assaulting a... That wasn't a pirate, that was a robot. Whatever, they were a science vessel. Thank us for saving them and offer us two fuel, a missile, and 16 scrap. Apparently lots of science going on in these parts. Let's upgrade our engine so we can get our dodge up a little bit higher. That would be very nice. Then we're going to have to work on powering up our weapons sooner or later. Power off that, put power back in the teleporter, and jump forwards, hoping for the best. We have not a whole lot of jumps left to do, so we got to take the most of our time here and jump the most circuitous route. We find a happy little blue planet which reveals an ore refinery and several factories, but all of which are standing still and empty, with no life signs detected, so we do not decide to investigate. We decide to move onwards. Let's head over here and see what we find at this happy blue planet. We find another distress beacon coming from another civilian ship being chased yet again by pirates. Well, let's get in there and help the civilians. We power up weapons and engage. Unfortunately, we have a Zoltan this time, so we're gonna need our weapons again first. Power up the weapon power power there we go. Power up the weapons and blast down that Zoltan shield. We'll take one shot with the basic laser, two with the small bomb. That should knock the shield out quickly enough, and we should be able to get in there with our mantises to kill them very easily, although they do have a medbay as well. So we'll take an additional small bomb to knock the medbay out. Hit them another basic actually no small bombs, that's what I wanted. Ah, whatever. Hit him. Okay, you missed anyway. Hit them with a small bomb. Hopefully this one will not miss and we'll be able to actually hurt them. They do have an ion weapon, which is continually knocking out our top layer of shields, but they only have a basic laser beyond that, so they can't actually do any damage to us. So it's not really a dangerous situation after all. Knock out two more of that Zoldan overshield, hit them one more time, and we should be able to board them and do some real damage. Although we will need to take power out of, of our engines because we need to keep our weapons on simultaneously. And it's hit! So we take off the power from the engines, put it into the teleporter, teleport directly into their weapon bay just for fun, and let's see if we can't hit them. So they have sent a human and Zoltan in to fight us, that is not the wisest move for them, but that's alright. They didn't know they were facing Mantis until they ran into the room. They're gonna go out and try and repair themselves in a second, so we're gonna bomb that room, then we're gonna jump in there and prevent them from repairing it by murdering them horribly. Nice try, guys. There are no more life signs detected on the pirate ship, so we gather three fuel, a drone part, and 21 scrap before contacting the civilians. It appears that they were also a science vessel. This is weird. They thank us for saving them and offer us two missiles, a drone part, and another 17 scrap. There's apparently a lot of science going on in these parts. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Power back into our important systems, heal ourselves up, and we should be good to keep going. So I'm tempted to put more power into our engines here, but I also want to buy that weapon upgrade so we can actually have some more firepower if we need it. So we're probably going to save up for that. We have, how about one, two, three, four, maybe even five jumps left. So we're going to come around the side over here. We don't have anything else to sell, do we? No. 
the weapons that we have we're going to hold on to for the time being, and we will work our way back around to the exit and see what we can do. So, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate they're a storage vessel for military goods. Well, we have to get in there then, don't we? They do look fairly heavily armed, though, with a pair of dual lasers. That's four lasers against our two shields, not looking so great for us. We'll have to attack them anyway, though. Attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. Here we go. They have a beam drone as well. This could be very dangerous for us, but we're going to do it because it looks like it might be fun. We're going to start off by hitting them in the shields. Actually, no. Start off by... Hmm, helm first, I think. Hit them in the helm, hit them in the shield, switch to lasers, and pummel down the weapons. Maybe even hit the first small bomb in the weapons. That might be a good idea. They are, otherwise they're going to do a lot of damage to us, just like that. They knocked out our oxygen bay, we'll send our two mantises in there, they can repair at the rate of one normal person. Knocked out both the dual lasers, very nice. Hit them in the helm, that will prevent them from dodging our future shots, then hit them in the shields, and then pummel them to death with the basic laser. It's going to take a long time, but it should be fairly safe now that we have knocked out their weapons. As long as we don't miss. There we go, we also set them on fire, but that's going to last for, what, a fraction of a second? Now one more shot to the shield, and we can alternate to our basic laser and start doing real damage. Oxygen back online, well done there, Mantises. You aren't the best at the job, but you are certainly better than nothing. Down go the shield, up goes the basic laser, and now we start trying to deal damage. Actually, I'm going to fire that directly at the shield so they don't bring that thing back online immediately. That would not be good. Hit them with the basic laser in the shield to take out one of their remaining health. They have seven left. This is going to be a fairly slow fight from the looks of things. Knock out that weapon, because the more weapons we can keep down, the less chance of us taking any damage. Down they go. We're going to hit them in the drone bay just for fun to make sure that drone stops flying around causing trouble. And then we'll see what has healed and we'll take some damage there. The drone bay apparently has extra power bars in it, so it's not as easy as I'd originally hoped. Uh oh. They have already healed up their helms. We need to take that out again. It only has one layer in it, so they're up to back up to full dodge. But it looks like since they have the drone active, they don't have as high dodge as some of these drones can have. Hit them one more time in the drone to make sure they stay down. There we go. Now you can't do a darn thing. Hit them in the shields again, so make sure that we don't have to waste any more bombs on these guys. And we'll keep moving. Here we go. Basic laser to the shields. Bop. And two more shots until they are dead. They're probably going to fix up that helm again in a second and repair one of those weapons. There it goes. Hit them in the weapons again. Pow! And the final shot. They have repaired their drone bay, but that doesn't matter because the drone can't hurt us anyway. We just attacked it for fun. Now one more shot from the basic laser to the helm. Pow! Takes out that rebel scout. We salvage 16 scrap from the broken ship, and when we investigate the station, we find that it is a storage site for various resources. We gather 4 fuel, 3 missiles, and 9 scrap. We have lots of money here. Let's power up, boop, our weapon ray. Lovely. We don't quite have the power to actually power a second weapon yet, but we do have the option now, so we can devote power to there if we need it. Power out of the basic laser into the teleporter and jump again. How many jumps do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, maybe even 4. Mm hmm. It's gonna be close. I don't want to get stuck here though. The earliest part of the game is the worst time to get caught off guard. So if we can, we want to try and make sure we have all of the room we need. So our first jump would take us to about here. Our next jump would take us to probably about here. Then that's three. And four would take us about there. So we do have enough room for four. So we're gonna go for four. One, two, three, four. Go. As long as we don't jump into like a sun or something, we should be okay. By the time we notice a rebel ship hiding behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid fighting them. But you know what? We don't want to avoid fighting them. In fact, they want to come to us, and I'm super okay with that. Where do they go? They're hiding over there in our engines to send our mantis over to kill the border, and then we will get down to business killing their crew on board their ship. They won't be able to hurt us either with a heavy laser and a basic laser. They can't get through our shields. So our mantis can cheerfully murder this friend and get ready to kill the other ship themselves. Get in there and heal that little bit of damage, because there's no reason going into the enemy ship hurt when they can't hurt us in the first place. No reason to rush things. Send a warrior and brawler over the teleporter and jump them into the weapons bay. There's bound to be something. No, there's no one here. That's surprising. Well, they've sent two more humans to come fight us. This is a rebel ship after all, so humans are what they go in for. Frederick and Ares, so that's a weird way to spell Ares, are here trying to defend themselves against our mantis onslaught, but they are unlikely to be successful here, as the mantises chew their way through those poor, poor humans. There are no more life signs remaining, so we strip their ship of useful materials, getting two missiles, a drone part, and 18 scrap. Well done, mantises. That is some nice violence you're spreading around. 
Might as well show the love. Now let's power up another power bar so that we can activate a weapon if we... two weapons if we would like. We have the option for those second power bars. Next up, we're going to be putting some more power into our engines so that if we don't need the weapons, we can put all of our power bars to good use. Let us jump again, and so hopefully we can make that jump. That would be unfortunate if we could not. I did not plan for that. So here we are. Rebel ship hails, and they did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter their dreams of a better galaxy. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, because this single single Federation ship is here to do just that. So, power-up systems get their weapons blasted at. They sent one human to stop two mantises. Surprisingly enough, that's not going to go well for them. But they don't know that until they try. So here comes a missile. If the Lido hits us, that'd be unfortunate. Hits us in the rear. But that's okay, because we didn't really take any serious damage. Keep pummeling them with our Mantis attacks. Although, Fighter here, Warrior here is getting some bad damage there. They did miss us with the second Lido missile, which is great. The random damage is definitely going against Warrior's favor. He's going to run a little way for now, because Brawler should be able to take out that human by himself, given that he does have the firepower to do it. They did hit us again in another empty room, bringing us down to 75% hull, but that shouldn't be a problem because they are now dead. With the crew dead, we take three fuel out of storage and gather another 19 scrap. Very nice. Alright guys, teleport back on board our ship, get yourselves healed up, and we're probably going to buy some more engine power. Yes we are. Engine power. Now if we don't need it, we can put it in the weapons, otherwise we have the opportunity to dodge at 32% evade, which is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. I would love to have someone else to take over these positions, but since we don't have one, we're going to use what we've got. I should actually be moving Fighter onto the shields, because we're not really firing weapons for the most part here. Might as well give him experience in something. So, you have a bunch of experience, don't you? Kapalka, you're going to go heal up as well while I think about it. Anyone else injured? No, it looks like Accountant and Fighter are both doing fine. Kapalka is kind of a strange name, but that's okay. Doesn't really fit with our theme, but then again, they never do. So, let's jump. Ah, good, perfect. We can make this jump. No problems there, then. So, here we are. We arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but we do detect faint life signatures on board. We don't really need any extra crew right now, and I don't want to risk any of the people we have, so we're going to scrap some of the debris. Boop. While waiting for the FTL drive to charge, we skirt around the edge of the station and gather 12 scrap. Excellent. So, that's that done. We can jump to the exit of the sector and jump our way forward to sector number two. Doing very well so far, but that is the standard for a heavy boarding ship. We've arrived at the long-range beacon, and what do we find here? Ah, as we arrive in the system, we're hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon learning of our quest, they offer us supplies, including two missiles, a drone part, and another 14 scrap. Can't complain for free things. We could buy more power, but honestly, we don't need more power at the moment. We have all the power we could want. Let us jump forwards and see what's up ahead. We can go to a rock-controlled sector or an energy-controlled sector. I think we're actually going to go to the rock-controlled sector because they're going to have lots of people we can jump in and murder. The rocks are a little bit harder to kill than the energy, though, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter, but we are going to go to the rock-controlled sector anyway because it looks like fun. Let's go. Let's kill us some rocks. Here we are. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It's not unheard of from a peaceful journey through their lands, but we shouldn't count on it. Yes, indeed. I'm just going to have a quick sip of water here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get to work here. We have a whole sector to explore, and plenty of resources to do it with. Let's see what we can find here. We passively scan a small rock station that's next to the beacon. However, they must not have appreciated our curiosity. A rock ship pulls away from the station, and we register an incoming teleporter signal as well. That shouldn't be a problem, because we are, of course, built like a murder force for build taking out... I cannot speak words. We are built as a force designed to murder enemy borders, given that we have so many mantis, although these rocks may give us some trouble. Their lasers are just barely powerful enough to get through our shields, but only if they are perfectly synchronized, which after a couple shots they will not be, so we should be more or less safe here. As long as that recharges at perfect time, which it does. How are we doing in this fight? We are losing this fight. These guys must be fairly high-level fighters, because they're actually beating us up quite well. We're going to run away and heal, and then we'll come back and fight them again. It seems strange that they'd have leveled up Rockman fighters in the first area you go, but I guess that's just what they decided to do for us. So, once we're up to about half health, we should be able to run back and stop them from doing any damage to the system if we're really lucky. Now we took a long way over there. We should be able to stop them from destroying it by killing these Rockmen. Like so. There we go. Down they go. 
We're not going to bother repairing that at the moment. We're going to jump onwards. Since they don't have any med bay, there's no reason for us to use our weapons anyway. We're going to run into the med bay, heal ourselves up, and get back to our teleporter pronto. So we can get in there and kill them on board their ship. Of course, if we're unlucky and the Rockmen are just as powerful as they were before, we may actually have a hard time beating them, but that we're not going to let that stop us. We did just level up both of our fighters to have 10% more damage in combat, so that's pretty darn nice. Send them over to the teleporter, turn off the medbay, power up the teleporter, jump into the weapons room. There's going to be someone here. No, there's no one here. But people are coming to see us very quickly. Yes, they are. There's a Rockman and another Rockman. Fantastic. Kill those Rockmen, folks. Kill those Rockmen. You need to focus the one down, otherwise they're going to be beating you up. Warrior is going to take damage there if this Rockman keeps focusing on him, but it looks like we would be okay here as long as he doesn't keep firing at the Warrior. As it stands, though, it looks like he will go down without too much more trouble. Down he goes. They didn't manage to do a single point of damage to us. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, and we strip it of useful materials, gaining two missiles, a drone part, and another 28 scrap. There we go, the violence continues. Send them up here, we're going to send Kapalka to go repair these systems while we heal ourselves up for the next jump. We do have 57 scraps, so we may want to invest in something, but I'm going to have to take a look at the menu to do that in a second. So, repair the doors as well, and then we'll take a look, see, and see what we're going to get. Radar would probably be a good choice, but we're going to need to find a store to be able to do that. So, for the time being, we may just hold on to our money. Or we might buy level 5 engines. I don't know. Both of those would be nice. Power off the med bay. Let's take a look. Level 5 engines would be affordable, but we wouldn't be able to activate them. Are there any stores nearby? No, there are not. Let's go ahead and buy level 5 engines. No, we still can't power it, so we'll hold off for now. I'll just hold on to my money. You never know what we might find up ahead. At this jump, we discover a small trading post. We ask about refueling there, but they respond, Go away! We don't serve your kind here. Although, honestly, given the fact that we are a Mantis ship in the Rocklands, I'm not surprised. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't react in a more aggressive way, given that the Mantis and the Rockman don't have the best of relationships. We jump over and find a civilian space station hit with heavy damage. They send us a message saying that they've been hit hard by the war and need more drone parts to speed up their repairs. They offer to buy ours. Well, that's great because we don't need them, so we'll sell them six drone parts for 24 scrap because that's almost all we have. And they thank us for our business and we thank them for theirs. 81 scrap, magnificent. Buy that engine power up pronto. Up to level 5 engines already, we are going to be hard to hit. So let's keep moving. Distress beacon over here. Can't say no to that. Let's go check that out and see what we have. Anything interesting? Ah, we locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently amongst the workers as they seem to have happened. We don't want to deal with that. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread, but lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. Let's send our NG down to calm down those infected. Ba -ba -ba. With no fear of catching the disease, our NG crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Come by its extensive knowledge about human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders thank us for helping to prevent the incident, giving us four fuel, three missiles, and eleven scrap. Kind of a pitiful scrap reward, but we did get some nice fuel and missiles, not that we're really short on them anyway. That's okay though. Like I've been saying, it's hard to say no to free resources. Keep moving and keep getting money. We find a rock ship performing combat exercises, however, they quickly change course to intercept us. Apparently, they think we'll be handy target practice. Unfortunately for them, they don't know that we're actually well defended ourselves. We're going to jump into their weapons, see if we can't knock them out before they get there. Although they will be rushing to us now, we'll be using our small bomb to knock out their med bay in a second. Here they come. We did not manage to take out any of their weapons, but we do have some fairly high dodge, so if we're unlucky, there's nothing we can do about it. Yes, they do manage to hit us, unfortunately. Bomb them in the med bay. Pow! There we go. Your healing power is now greatly reduced. They are going to hit us with another missile, aren't they? Yes, in the shields. That's not good. And in the weapons. Okay, this could turn ugly here. Quickly kill those Rockman Mantises, otherwise we might be taking some real damage here. Hit him quick. I shouldn't have fired that second rocket, but they do go down anyway. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so it's generated useful materials, gaining 3 fuel, a drone part, and 28 scrap. Alright, we also did take some hits. We have a vent hole in the shields, so we'll send one of our NG over to fix that. We'll go fix our hole in the weapons as well, teleport ourselves back onto the ship and get healed up as quickly as possible. They seem to have fixed the problem in there, but they are suffocating slightly. There we go, problem solved. Send Kapalka back to his station. Accountant should be fixing that weapon any second, and we should be powering up the medbay, otherwise I am a fool. 
Okay, anyone else need to be healed? Kapelka, you have a little bit of damage there. Fighter, you have quite a bit of damage. You're gonna go heal up as well. And, you know what, Kapelka, you can go wait outside, as the Mantis in here will be done shortly. Yes, they are healed up. Head out. Kapalka, you can go heal. Fighter, you're gonna head down to the shield room. I believe that's where I have you put now. You have a basic level of skill in three different things. That's pretty cool. Kapalka is going to be a quite good engines person. Accountant is almost a maximum level dodger, which is great. Our fighters are gaining power, and this is looking pretty good so far. We did take a bunch of hits there, unfortunately, but if we get lucky, that won't happen too much again. We found a store, and if we're lucky here, we'll be able to find a uh, radar system to buy. The rock tolerate few aliens in their space, but they seem to have a respect. The wi but even they seem to respect the wisdom of the Zoltan. A few of them have established a trading post in the husk of an abandoned capital ship. They offer us sensors, yay! As well as breach and Pegasus missiles, which would be fun to buy, but we don't have the money to buy them with, and we don't really need them anyway because we are mostly boarding people. So we're buying our sensors. Boop. There we go. We could buy some repairs, I guess. That'll do. Oh, whatever. We'll spend the rest of those twos on nice cheap repairs. Now we have the ability to see inside our own ship, at least, which is nice. One more upgrade in that system, and we'll be able to see what's going on in the enemy ship, which is certainly good. Now what do we have here? We jump into the middle of a rock excavation project on a nearby moon. Unimpressed with our intrusion, they move to defend themselves. Mm, well, they have basic laser and a burst laser mark 1, so I'm not too scared. They can do damage if they manage to hit us, but them being able to hit us is the point of question. We're going to move Warrior into this room, see if they stop here, and we can take out one of their weapons. No, they're not too concerned about us damaging the oxygen, that's okay though. We're going to jump back in there and do the real damage. We do have nice dodge at the moment, back up to 39%. They should be able to dodge at least one of those shots. Yes, we do dodge one of the shots, although Warrior is getting beaten up quite badly. Brawler hasn't taken a single point of damage, on the other hand. Okay, swap their places. That way, Warrior should take the f uh, Brawler should take the focus damage, and Warrior should only take the splash damage from Nellis over here. This looks like it's working out in our favor, and there's one of the Rockmen down. See if they can take out Nellis nice and quickly. Yes, they do. There we go. With the fuel dead, we take all their fuel out of storage, getting 4 fuel and 28 scrap. Not bad. The 28 is a nice number to get in this early sector. We'll send these guys up to Med Bay to get themselves all healed up, and we will keep on moving. Yes, we will. We've got lots of resources, lots of missiles, lots of fuel. But as I was saying before, it's not surprising, given that we do have a boarding heavy ship. They always wind up ahead as far as resources go, because they just get so many extra for doing the boarding actions. How many jumps do we have left here? One, two, three, four, maybe five. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, we can choose at that last jump. So let's go over here. And jump! What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We encounter a rock vessel and attempt to open trading frequencies, but I take it as an act of cultural transgression and open fire. Well, you foolish people. They have bombs, though. That's not so cool. Power back into the teleporter, jump into their ship, Toronto, and do damage. Focus fire on those systems, see if we can't take them out quickly. I doubt we'll be able to do any damage before they get in there. No, we cannot. Once again, two rocks joining in the fight here. They are firing simultaneously, but luckily enough, they miss one of their shots. The bomb comes in and does hit us in the shields. Run out of that room. No, you get hit anyway. We are going to send Kapalka to go help you repair that, because we do not want to have low shields with all those lasers incoming. Also, we need to swap our Mantis again, because they are getting beaten up here. That might have been too low even for this, because Warrior is going to get pummeled. We just got a hit in the radar, which is also not ideal. And now we need to take out the remaining guy before we get really beaten up. We are taking damage. Warrior, run out of that room before you get killed. Leave it to Brawler to finish the fight, and down goes the Rockman. There are no more life signs remaining, so we strip the ship of useful material, gaining 3 fuel, 2 missiles, and 28 scrap, and do take an extra damage from the last salvo of lasers, unfortunately. Nothing we could do there, though. Send Kapalka in to fix the radar and accountant in order to go fix our medbay, teleport our mantis back on board, and get things back functioning again. Here we go. Repair those systems, folks. Kapalka, I've got over to your system. Power back into the med bay. Fighter, you're actually going to need to get some heals as well. We'll send accountant out of the room, and Fighter can come join. Get, get, click, click there. He can come join his brethren. We got Warrior, Brawler, and Fighter all in one room, just like old times. Ah, well, poor Fighter. He got relegated to non fighting based activities. It's terrible. 
terrible, but you know what? That's just what happens. Sometimes you gotta do things you don't intend to do. So, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna power up our radar so we can actually see what's going on on the enemy ship. That would be very nice. And then we're probably going to power up some more of these systems, get our med bay and our teleporter going so that we can get in and out faster if we need to and heal faster when we need to come back. As it stands, we're going to keep moving those so that we don't waste any more time. What do we find here? A distress beacon coming from a civilian ship who are being chased, yet again, by pirates. Let's get in there and help those civilians. Ah, Federation bomber pirates, although they're also rocks. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's jump in there and kill these rockmen. Zoop! They do have three laser potential again, so they could be doing damage to us. It depends on how lucky or unlucky we get. People seem to be doing fine, though, and I'm sure we'll be alright. Yes, we are just fine. We also max leveled Accountant's Dodge Ability. Very nice. The first top tier skill we've got. Our warriors over here should be able to take out these rockmen fairly effectively. We did take a hit did one damage and set the room on fire, but it is an airlock room, so it's not a problem. There are no more life signs detected on the pirate ship, so we contact the civilians, gathering three fuel, one missile, and 28 scrap in the progress in the process. The civilian ship, however, made a fast retreat while we distracted their enemies. Those silly, silly cowards. They should have known that we're mantis, and we can chase them down someday in the future. Well, fire is out, and we are going to heal up our crew. In fact, let's buy our higher level uh, med bay already, and an extra power bar just for fun, so that we can heal ourselves up nice and quick. Alright, nicely done there, gents. Take power back out of there, put it back in there. Things are not running nice and smoothly here. Let's jump to the distress beacon. Actually, we have a couple jumps left, don't we? We have one, two, maybe three jumps. Hmm. I think I can go one, two, th three out, maybe? We'll see. Let's take another jump and we'll take another look at it. Jump to the distress beacon where we find a dense asteroid field giving off the distress call. Let's investigate, although it could be dangerous regardless. Let's search for the ship. We find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal, but before we have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past our shields and damage our engines. We'll have to pull out. That's unfortunate. We took five damage there for no good reason, and we did not get a chance at the crystal pod or a free weapon. Oh well, it happens. Now, if we jump... No, we have really enough time for these two jumps, I was right. I think I calculated it correctly in the first place. Let's jump over here and see what we can get at the exit. And we jumped into an asteroid field, well what do you know? We arrive in an asteroid field and immediately begin evasive maneuvers when a loud clunk reverberates through the ship. At first we think the hull's been hit, but the noise came from some rock intruders teleporting on board. And by some, they mean a single rocket intruder. He's gonna run in the helm though, and that's unfortunate. Accountant, you're gonna chill out in there for a second until our mantis can join you. You're gonna run out of the room, and the mantis are gonna get in the room. There we go. Do some damage. Now, we aren't going to worry about trying to take them out, although we are going to worry about small bombing them in the weaponry so that they cannot penetrate our shields in an inopportune time. We seem to be okay though. The rock man goes down, we're gonna send these guys back over to the medbay to get healed up, and send accountant back in to demand that helm. Power to the medbay. More power to the medbay. Speed healing. And the small bomb does knock out the weapons. Yes, it does. Now they're harmless. Turn off the small bomb, send these guys back over to the teleporter, power out of their pack in the oxygen and in the uh, med bay teleporter thingy. One of those. How do they... Oh, what? Huh? That must have been incredibly bad timing. Asteroids. Wow. I've never seen... I wasn't expecting that. Let's get in here and stop them from repairing the damage as well, and pummel these guys into the ground. These silly rock men aren't going to put up much of a fight for long. That one's already almost dead. Keep hitting Thomas, and they should be down in no time. It's unfortunate they managed to hit us there. I wasn't expecting that. We were going to swap our Mantis, as we did previously. There we go. We do want to prevent them from repairing that damage, although Warrior is damaged, so he's going to run for the hills. And they're chasing me, so I'm going to run back in here again. And they're chasing me, so I'm going to run back in here again. <laughs> and down go the Rockmen. Nicely done, Brawler. You've also max-leveled your fighting skill. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we strip it of useful materials, gaining a few missile and 29 scrap. Yes, indeed. Alright. So we have a max level Mantis Warrior now, so he's hitting for a whole pile of firepower. Get those Mantises healed back up, and we'll get back down to business. We have one more jump to do before we're done this sector and done this episode, so hopefully everything goes well. Power back into the oxygen where it belongs, and let's jump to the exit. What have we at the exit? Anything good? Anything good? 
We arrive at a long range beacon where we discover debris from a forgotten battle still orbiting the gas giant in the system. Some of it may be usable, so we gather a missile, a drone part, and 20 scrap from the wreckage. Not bad. Well, now we have a chance to jump onwards to Sector 3, where we have a choice between a civilian sector and an uncharted nebula, and as you know, I hate nebulae, so we're not going to this one. We're going to the civilian sector. It's going to be boring, because there's literally nothing interesting about it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're at a new sector. We have to get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the rebels can catch us, but unfortunately, we're going to have to leave that for next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing on board the VSS Violence here in our game of FTL. If you liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.